Hey folks, well, so there's a new feature in OneClick Infra, a new component, and that is called OAuth2 Proxy. Now, what does that cover? Well, it covers a very common need uh, to have authentication on, on, a, on an application that doesn't have an authentication by itself. Meaning, if you want to protect your staging environment from unauthorized access, or you want to access an internal tool, somewhere outside of your perimeters and you don't want to use a VPN or you have a hackathon and you just want to show off something to, uh, to the company, well, uh, you can put this proxy in front of uh, uh, your application and it's using GitHub uh, at the moment to authorize your team uh, or your organization or specific GitHub users. And in this video, I'm going to show, show, show you how, it's, how it can achieve, uh, it can achieve it. And I'm going to install OAuth2 proxy first, and uh, I'm going to make this very simple application uh, protected from the outside. So uh, let's get started. So the first step is uh, I have an NGINX installed and I have an application, which is just an uh, NGINX uh, application running. So I am going to uh, install uh, the OAuth2 um, component and I could, uh, whitelist a whole organization, or I could just whitelist my uh, personal account, which is a last load dummy in this uh, demo. And uh, because it's using OAuth, uh, hence the name, I need to create an OAuth application on GitHub uh, and take the client ID and secret and uh, provide it to one click in uh, To do that, uh, let's go to GitHub. And uh, I have it uh, prepared uh, for this demo. Uh, if I go to my uh, user settings, and uh, under developer settings, you can create multiple types of applications uh, and OAuth apps, what we uh, need uh, for this demo. Uh, I'm going to register a new application. The application name is going to be delete me, just for my sake that I can delete this application uh, easily. The homepage URL uh, will be uh, auth.test. Uh, last load of cloud uh, that's your um, company's domain uh, prepended with auth and the authorization callback uh, will be a slash auth to slash callback and let's register this app and take the client id feed it to one click infra and create a secret which also goes into one click infra. At this point, uh, we have set up the user and we provided two secrets, which are a write only uh, user flow. So you can only reset a secret and set it again. So that's why there is this click to reset secret option here uh, right now. And down here, we can see what has changed. Uh, we have provided client ID and the client secret and so on. So uh, let's write this uh, to Git. And because this is GitOps, uh, you know this very well, uh, it will be synchronized on the cluster within a minute. So I have a cluster uh, prepared for this demo and uh, I have a few things running. Get pods in all the namespaces. And uh, by now this proxy application is being created. So uh, that was fast. So I'm happy about this. And uh, okay, so now we have a proxy, uh, which is by the way, um, accessible on auth test last load of cloud. So if you just check, check this out, you can see this sign in button. Uh, but I want to protect my uh, precious NGINX application. What to do? Uh, well, one click infra has some uh, help always for every component. And uh, basically it tells you to add, an, uh, add authentication for your services, add the following annotations to your ingress. Now, this could be cryptic, it's Kubernetes YAML. Uh, I think it's a very common practice uh, that you need to create an ingress and you need to put annotations to fine tune how your applications are accessed. And uh, in this case, uh, with, to utilize OAuth proxy, you have to add this to annotation, which is telling NGINX, uh, not my application NGINX, but the ingress uh, controller NGINX to use uh, this uh, newly installed proxy application. So uh, let's take a look at our app. 
my app, as I showed it to you before, it's an Nginx, uh, which is uh, running on this host, and I'm adding this uh, to uh, annotation to it. Uh, there is a few, there, there is one thing to replace, uh, which I could make easier because I know this uh, domain already from your Nginx config. But right now it's a manual thing, and uh, I basically forwarded every request to my application to the all, uh, authentication site, which in return it will re redirect me back to my app once the authentication is done. So uh, that's it for the configuration. I have added two annotations, and you might wonder what is this? Uh, this is a Helm chart uh, values file. Uh, I have a Helm chart uh, for generic applications, and um, it's ra rather easy to configure a, a demo application with it. It's called OneChart, by the way, OneChart.dev. And uh, to show you what's going to be uh, deployed uh, to the cluster, I'm going to uh, template uh, this um, Helm chart and to show you what is going to be applied on the cluster. Uh, three things, a service, uh, uh, deployment, and the ingress. And the ingress will have these two annotations. Cool, so let's actually apply this on the cluster. And uh, I can see that my ingress has been reconfigured. So getting the ingress. I have the my app test last look cloud. And if I describe this ingress, uh, actually you can see that uh, these two annotations have been applied already. So if I try to access my uh, application, which has been just working fine without an authentication before, if I try to access it, I have some SSL issues in this demo because I'm working on localhost. But if I proceed, uh, here is the, uh, the authorization screen hey, delete me, <laughs> my last load dummy is trying to access my GitHub account. I'm fine with that because that's me. And if I accept it, then you can see that uh, I am able to access uh, this Nginx uh, application. And well, what happens to people who are not signed in? Well, let's see. Uh, I'm just opening a, an incognito window and trying to access this application. Well, I have to log into GitHub. And uh, if I would log in and I would provide a user other than my last load dummy a user or um, whatever is in the settings, I would get an, an invalid user uh, error message. So uh, it, that's that and uh, this is a rather handy feature and it's a rather common use case that you want to protect internal resources, be that some internal app or, or something that you hack together and uh, you need to have a, a proxy, an, an authentication proxy for this. And uh, one click infra is here for you uh, to get you all through proxy. Thank you.